everyone. Today is potentially the first day of corn harvest. We got the parts in for the combine. We got half of them put in. We just gotta put hoses on the pump now. Should be rolling this afternoon. I'm heading out to plug in the tractors now. It's a little frosty out. Today's January 6th. We have this cable here. So this is our canopy for 2355. We take it off to go in the barn with. So we just hang an extension cord up on it. So water doesn't seep into the electricals and fry something. There's a little sizzle sound in there now. That's the block heater core. It heats up the block on the tractor. Makes it easier for it to start. Next we'll plug in the 49. Once I get this tractor going, I'll plug in the 64. I got, so over here, we've been doing bedding bales in our barn. Loading our barn with bales of straw. That uh, far row there, I'm gonna go get three bales from there, come back to town, bring in the intern. Gonna go get three bales. And then after that, I believe we're gonna do an overview on the combine I'm gonna do. And we got a couple odd jobs before we got, get ready to do corn we gotta get done before that is get dumb box on one of the tractors and get the gravity wagon pulled out get it ready to be filled gotta get this lawnmower moved it's in the way of the tire there by quite a bit to get the wagon out gotta move all this other stuff as soon as this wagon's out I'll move all this stuff over here so we can pull the combine out Here's the combine all opened up. I'll do an overview on this once we get back. That's the charge pump there that blew apart. I got this lawnmower, the battery charger on it, the heat lamp up against the motor. This lawnmower is a diesel, but it doesn't have a block heater core plug-in on it. So we got a heat lamp on it to heat it up. Hopefully that's good to go when we're back. Got an extension cord, gonna go plug in the 49. With the diesel motor, they got glow plugs that essentially is what runs the motor makes. It, it's like a spark plug for the gas engine, but the diesel style, every time it goes up and ignites, it's just a different style, makes it run, I think, stronger. This just heats those up in these motors. They're in easy enough locations to plug them in. Sometimes they're tricky to do with one hand. You can hear this one really good. That's where it goes in, in the side of the block of the motor. Heats it all up. Now it's time to explain what happened to the combine here. This is the charge pump that runs the hydrostatic in the combine, which makes it drive. This is the charge pump here. I mean, this casting all blew apart off of it. Like, cracked open and blew apart. One of them has it broken too, somewhere. This all turns and runs, hoses everywhere. This is the main 
pump that runs all the hydras, hydraulic fluid through the combine. We lost, I'd say, four pails of oil out of the combine. That shiny one right there, that's the new one. All these hoses are all back on. Dad put them back together this morning. Just gotta put another pail in. He got a pail and a half in this, this morning or about an hour ago. With that blown apart, that allows the combine to lose all of its hydraulic oil and that causes it to not run, like drive, because it's a hydrostatic combine. So it runs off the hydrostatic, which is pretty well automatic. And it's not like the gear driven tractors. It's like a hydrostatic lawnmower, per se. That's how this combine's run. That charge pump is very fatal for this combine, for when it broke. Oh, try not to fall off. We got pails here. So, this was like a six week wait for this. The new one, it looks different, but it goes back in the same way. Hopefully this afternoon we can get the combine out and going. We cut open all the filters and changed them all to see if there's any filings in there from the motor. For the from the pump when it broke there was none so we did not have to do a flush through all the lines to get any filings out the filings would tear up all the seals and you'd pretty well need a new machine if the filings were all through the combine because you can't get every single one out of there you just be tearing seals out of seals i'm out at the bale row here now this is straw from the oat field we did up the intern's here. I'm gonna cut along the plastic here. I'm gonna grab three bales for the coming week. Perfect. Well, I had to switch tractors. The last bale I took kind of blew apart, I'll show you it. So I'm using the grapple bucket now on this tractor. I'm gonna grab this last bale. Yeah, the last one kind of fell apart on the bale spears. Had to pick it up, as you can see. The intern just laughing in there. Hey Summer, are you just laughing? At the birds. At the birds? birds they can roost up there yeah we're coming outside after lunch here it's snowing out combine's running it's running pretty good as you can see the snow's here what are your thoughts it's snowing it has. I guess one of those bills. I gotta put a tarp on the one that's flipped up. That's the one that kind of broke. Her fault. Right? No. <laughs> I'm gonna unhook this spreader. See what the game plan is afterwards. Do I like, do I this? Yeah, just unplug it like that. <laughs> Just pull it like an oh, yeah. <laughs> She's learning. She's learning. We're gonna get this old girl fired up. What are your thoughts on this? It's cold. It's cold? It's not Florida. Oh. I guess she likes Florida temperatures more. 
That's unfortunate. We got the combine running out. He's headed out to the field now. We gotta get this yard ready to leave. The intern's a little cold. Stop it. Are you cold? No, you're the one who doesn't have gloves on. I know I don't. I got the spreader unhooked from the 49. We're gonna take the dump box with the 64. I gotta put a tarp on that one wagon over there. We should be good to go. What are your thoughts, Summer? Amazing, the curse is broke. Good. The snow is lifted, the curse is broke. <laughs> We're running through the field here now. I got the dump box on the 64. Combine's up. Not even gonna make it around one pass of the field and it's already full. Dad said he won't be able to make it out to the roadway. I'd say that's pretty good yield of corn. I wouldn't uh I don't know what the yield would be per acre. I don't know if we've hit one acre yet off this. I'd say we're at maybe half an acre. And combine's full, that holds five, six ton of corn. That'll fill the dump box here. The sides on it, it holds six ton. We'll take it back to the yard and go grab the other wagon. I got one of the tarps off the other wagons that are here. We have the, we've had the two wagons with the tarps here since mid-November when we first came out but then the combine exploded. That's why we say the curse, because <laughs> that was the last day the intern was here and it kind of exploded, so. That's where we go off of the curse from. And then everything just bad happens when she's here, we just say it's a curse. It's just a comical joke we have. Coming up to the combine. We got an eight row head on our 95 John. 9500 John Deere Combine. Let's get this unloaded. We just unloaded the combine. I'm following them out of the field here. Got the dump box full. I'm gonna go back home, get that other the wagon out. We're gonna put the 49 on the wagons until it gets dark, and then I'll be back in this tractor with the lights because I don't have lights on the front of that tractor. I want to get them equipped soon so I can run in the dark. I'll need them for silage season because of how late I run for chopping silage. I, I start early in the morning and go late at night, get as much done in a day as I can. So. I'll get some of those equip equipped up this winter and might even run some tillage early morning before the sun hits the ground and dries it out too much. We're headed out to the field now with the 49. I got the wagon pulled out of the shed. It's looking like dad's almost full again. He's probably dumped into one of the other wagons. Actually I think he has because tarps off the other wagon so I think he's dumped into that wagon already. That's not too bad. We're getting a good yield off this field then. Which isn't too, too bad. We need a good yield. I pulled up to the field here, combine's running good. We got the back wagon there. You can see the yellow on there. That's full of corn. The front wagon's about quarter full. First day of corn harvest 2024 from our 2023 season of corn. There goes another dump into the wagon. We're not even half done the field and we're almost full. We just got this wagon left to fill after that one's full. That one might be full at the end of this dump might get a bit more in. But the combine wasn't really really full. We're getting a good yield off this field. It's really good. 
out really good. Yes, it is. Summer, how's your day? Though? Good. That's good. Do you enjoy <laughs> coming to the farm? I do. Perfect. Out in the field, spotting the combine. There are a couple deer out in the field. With this wagon, you can see left the other one behind us. I went and tried to pull both of them at once. All we did was spin tires. There's a section of ice there I had to re-hook on, and the wagons were froze to the ground too. The tractor wouldn't pull them. Yes, it's a big tractor. It's capable of doing it. But on icy ground, you can't do that, really. It gets slippy and slidey. It gets quite dangerous, too. One year, I was going down a hill with these wagons on ice. I almost slid right into a fence post and snapped it off with this tractor. So we're headed back to the yard with the one. I'll be back for the other quite soon. Let's hope not to crash. I don't think we will. We're almost to the road here now, and we're like no ice to the road. So we should be pretty good. On our way back. We made it to the road, nice and safe. All in the wagon home. The farm's just over there. Well, the intern went home. I had back to get the other two wagons. Hopefully I'm done before it gets too, too dark to be driving. Left the other wagon at home. Looks like Dad, where I can tell him from the yard, looks like he got done and he's on his way back too. I believe he'll be going up. Oh, never mind. I thought he was going up through one of the other fields with the full combine, but looks like he's gonna be coming up the road, which is probably a safer bet too. That way you don't make tracks to the field. We're mostly all no till so we don't like making tracks because we don't work our ground. If it gets too late and we need to make tracks, we will. But we prefer not to. We got a couple fields we gotta work up this year because It'll be too much grass to plant through. Let a car go by here. Oh, there goes the car there. This tractor's so wide, it takes up half the road. I have to go right into the ditch half the time to get her straight. Here's the combine right here, so I'll pull over to the side of the road up here, wait for him to go by, and I will head through. There he is. I got the last wagon to the field. This tractor does have lights, but only on the back. The front ones didn't come wired up. And we haven't taken the time to wire them up yet. So I gotta be quick, cause it's almost pitch dark. I hope everyone enjoyed today's video of first day of corn harvest. I did turn out. Got a few other jobs we did. Move straw bales. I showed you guys what was up with the combine. That was a pretty fatal problem that happened there. I'm glad we got that fixed. I'm excited to run the rest of the corn harvest. We will probably fill up everything again on this field. Maybe a headland or two of the next field closest to it. This field was planted with our 7,000 corn planter, believe it or not, with this good of a yield off. I'd say it's pretty decent. Of yield 40 ton off of let's say eight acres so far, maybe 10. I don't know if there'd be six acres left there. I know the field is 16 total. It's not bad. I'm not disappointed. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna let you go. Have a good one.